Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from mathematics subject, equations and inequations topic we are going to continue. So here children, equation means an open sentence containing the sign of equality. The sign of equality. So express two equal to 5. This is an open sentence because it is having variable. So the variable is open for any value. It's an open sentence. Along with that, it is also containing equality sign. So it is called as an equation. So 3x plus 5 equal to 10 it is an equation in one variable because we have only one variable which is x. m by 3 equal to 6, it is also an equation, one variable because it is having variable m. Whereas x minus 2 equal to 2 by minus 3, it is an equation in two variables. Because in this equation, we have variable x and we have variable y. PQR equal to 24. This is an equation in three variables. Because in this we have three unknown values. P value unknown, Q value unknown, R value unknown. Means we have three unknown variables or three variables are open for different values. So this is an equation in three variables. Like that, we can have equations either in one variable or in two variables or in three variables or in many variables. Based on the number of variables, we can name that equation in terms of variables. Here, children, linear equation means an equation involving one variable with highest power 1 is called linear equation. Means it should contain only one variable and that is also with highest power 1. So then it will be called as linear equation. So here, 5x plus 7 equal to 22. 5x plus 7 equal to 22. We have variable x here, one variable whose power is 1. Here there is no x, so we can write x power 0. Means highest power of x is 1. So this is an example of linear equation. In the same way, if you take this one, if you take this one, 2y minus 5 equal to 4y minus 9. In this also, we have only one variable y, one variable y, whose highest power is 1. So, it is linear equation. So, here, third example. So, z by 3, this equation, z by 3 minus z by 4 equals to 8. In this also, we have one variable z whose power is 1. So, highest power is 1. So, these three are the examples of linear equations. Why? Because they are defined in one variable and all the variables are having highest power 1. So, they are all examples of linear equations. In these equations, here we have a sign of equality. We have a sign of equality which divides each equation into two parts. Before equality sign one part, after equality sign one part. Before equality sign left hand side, LHS, 
after equality sign RHS or right hand side part. So the sign of equality divides it into two sides. One is left hand side part, another one is right hand side part. They are represented by LHS and RHS respectively. So in an equation, LHS part is always equal to RHS part. LHS part is always equal to RHS part. Next, solution of a linear equation. So the value which when substituted for the variable in an equation, if the value makes LHS equal to RHS, if the value what we have taken in the place of variable that makes LHS equal to RHS, that makes both the parts equal, that value what we have taken is called solution of the equation or it is also called root of the given equation, root of the given equation. If you consider the equation 3x plus 7 equal to 5x plus 1, so here in this equation, if you keep 3 in the place of x, 3 in the place of x, so then 3x, 3 into 3, 21 plus 7, 28, sorry 3 into 3, 9 plus 7, 16, here if you keep 3, 5 into 3, 15 plus 1, 16, means if we substitute x equal to 3 in the equation in all the places of x, then LHS value will be 16, RHS value will be 16, LHS equal to RHS, x equal to 3 is making this condition true. So it is called solution of the equation 3x plus 7 equal to 5x plus 1 or it is called root of the equation 3x plus 7 equal to 5x plus 1. Means solving the equation is nothing but to find the value of the variable which satisfies given equation means which satisfies the condition LHS equal to RHS, finding that value of the variable is called solving the equation. So solving linear equation is means nothing but finding the value of variable in the equation. <coughs> Next. So we have some rules for solving a linear equation. We have some rules for solving a linear equation. Suppose for the given equation, we can add the same number on the both sides of equation. So rule 1 is for any equation, we will be having equality sign so that it is called as an equation. Before equality sign, we, can, we will be having LHS. After equality sign, we will be having RHS. For LHS and RHS, according to rule 1, we can add same number, means LHS plus same number equal to RHS plus same number. Like that, same number can be added on the both sides of equation, that is rule 1. Suppose, if we have equation x minus 3 equal to 7, if you want to find the value of x, this minus 3 to be removed, for removing that, we can add its additive inverse plus 3. But if we add only on one side, the value of the equation changes. So, without changing the value of the equation, this plus 3 to be added on the both sides of the equation. Okay. So, we have x minus 3 equal to 7. For cancelling this minus 3, we are adding plus 3 to minus 3. For balancing it, we are adding plus 3 on right hand side also. So plus 3, plus 3. So then minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled. 
left side we will be having x, right side 7 plus 3 equals to 10. So, x equal to 10, it is the solution of the equation x minus 3 equal to 7. So, how we have got this solution? By adding 3 on both sides, by adding same number on both sides. So, by following rule 1, we are able to solve the linear equation. So, we can solve some kinds of linear equations with the help of rule 1, which is adding same number on both sides of equation. <coughs> Next slide. According to rule 2, we can subtract the same number from both sides of an equation. Suppose, if the given equation is m plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 3, in this variable is m, if you want to find m, this plus 1 by 4 is to be removed. For removing it, we can add its additive inverse, means or we can subtract 1 by 4, we can subtract 1 by 4 from the left hand side so that it will be cancelled, so that it will be cancelled. But if we subtract only on one side, the balancing will change. So that is why this to be subtracted on both sides, to be subtracted on both sides. So m plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 3. We are subtracting 1 by 4 on left hand side and also on right hand side for balancing, right hand side for balancing. So, left hand side 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 cancel, we will be having m. Right hand side, we have to take LCM for this, this 3 and 4 LCM is 12, 3 4 times 12, 4 into 1, 4, 4 3 times 12, 3 into 1, 3, 4 minus 3 by 12, which is equal to 1 by 12. So, m equal to 1 by 12. So, m equal to 1 by 12 is the solution. We are able to solve this by subtracting same number from both sides, by subtracting 1 by 4 from both sides. So, we are able to solve the equation by following rule 2, by following rule 2. Next one. rule 3 rule 3, we can multiply both the sides by the same non-zero number. Here, we have to uh, check this condition children. We have to multiply with same non-zero number because if we multiply with the 0, any variable, total value will become 0. We cannot find the value of m in that case. So, according to rule 3, we have to multiply on both sides of any equation by same non-zero number, not zero. Suppose, if you have the equation z by 4 equal to 3, we have to find the value of z. z how much? We have to find the value. For finding that, we have to remove this by 4. So, how can we remove this by 4? If you multiply with into 4, so then 4, 4 will get cancelled. So means for finding z, we have to multiply with 4. But for balancing, we have to multiply with 4 on both sides of equation. Why means for balancing the equation without changing the value of equation based on rule 3, we are multiplying with same number on both sides. 4, 4 gets cancelled. So, we will be having z on left hand side, right hand side 3 into 4, 12. So, z equal to 12 is the solution. How we are able to do find it children? By multiplying on both sides by 4 or by using rule 3. Means we can multiply on both sides by same non-zero number. So, while solving, we can make use of this rule 3. Next one. Rule 4. We can divide both sides of an equation 
by the same non zero number by the same non zero number if we have the equation 0 0.5 meter 5m sorry not meter 0 0.5 m equal to 0 0.65 so then for finding m we have to remove this 0 0.5 so to remove this 0 0.5 we have a 0 0.5 into m we have a product here to remove this we have to divide by 0 0.5 but for, for balancing it we have to divide with 0 0.5 on both sides so 0 0.5 m by 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.65 by 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 0 0.5 cancel we will be having m on left hand side 0 0.65 by 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we can take it as point after two places are there point after one place we can take one zero point after two places, point after two places, we can remove the point, it will become 65 by 50, means we can write it as 5 13 z, 5 10 z, 13 by 10 or which is equal to 1.3. So, we are able to fall, find m value by dividing with same value, means we can find the equation of, uh, sorry, solution of equation by dividing both sides by 0 0.5 or by applying rule 4, by applying rule 4, in this way children, so in this way, in this way we can solve a linear equation either by rule 1, by adding with same number, rule 2, subtracting same number, rule 3, multiplying with same number, rule 4, dividing by same number, we can solve the linear equation by following any one of these methods according to the given condition. <coughs> Next year. So, we can also solve by using this method transposition. So, what is this uh, transposition children? Transposition means we are changing the position we are transforming the position that's why it is called transposition under this process we can drop a term from one side of equation and put it on the other side of an equation with sign changed by changing its sign means suppose if you have 3x minus 1 equal to 5 this minus 1 can be taken right hand side from left hand side by changing its sign. On left hand side we have minus 1. If it go to right hand side it will be converted to plus 1. So, 3x equal to 5 plus 1. So, this is called transposition means dragging from one part dropping, dropping it in another part. Here 5x plus 2 equal to 7 is there. We want to find variable 5x or x. Let us isolate x term. For that we have to isolate x term. We should have only x term on the left hand side. Plus 2 to be taken on right hand side. Plus 2 if it taken to right hand side. It will become minus 2. Sign will be changed. 9x minus 4 equal to 5x plus 12. We have to take x terms on one side. This 5x, when there is nothing, we have to assume plus 5x there. If it comes to left hand side, it will become minus 5x. If minus 4 goes to right hand side, it will become plus 4. So, 9x minus 5x equal to 12 plus 4. Like this, we can apply transposition while uh, changing the position of the terms from left hand side to side to right hand side just by changing the sign of the term sign of the term this is called transposition
let us solve some problems here based on this linear equations. 4 times of a number diminished by 5 means diminished means decreased diminished means decreased by 5 equals 19. Find the number. 4 times of a number. Let the number be x children. Then 4 times of number will be 4x diminished by 5. Decreased by 5 means minus 15 equals 19 equals to 19. So, while solving linear equations problems, the sentence, the mathematical sentence given in words to be converted into symbolic form. According to that, let the number be x. 4 times of number decreased by 5 is equal to 9 means 4x minus 5 equal to 19. Let us apply transposition. Minus 5 goes that side. It will become plus 5. 4x equal to 19 plus 5. 4x equal to 19 plus 5, 24 or 4 comes right hand side. 4 comes right hand side means while multiplication, while, while x plus 4 is there according to transposition, if it comes to right hand side, minus 4. But if 4x is there, if 4 comes right hand side, it will not become minus 4. This transposition is applicable for only plus terms and minus terms. But here 4x means <coughs> we are multiplying with 4. <coughs> Sorry, children. We are multiplying with 4. If uh, 4x equal to 24, if 4 comes that side, it will become by 4. Whenever we have into 4, if it goes that side, it will become by 4. Or according to transposition rule 3, if we have 4x equal to 24, we can divide with same number or uh, rule 4 by 4 by 4. We can divide with same number on both sides. 4, 4 cancel, 24 by 4 we can have. So, x equal to 24 by 4 according to rule 4. So, answer 4, 6 times 24. So, x equal to 6. Next one. 4 fifths of a number is greater than 3 fourths of a number by 4. Find the number. Let the number be x. Let the number be x. 4 fifths of a number is greater than 3 fourths of a number by 4. 4 by 4. Sorry, children, here solution is somewhat different. Let us uh, solve, let us solve in another method. 4 fifths of a number, 4 fifths of a number means 4 by 5 of a number x. This is 4 fifths of a number is greater than 3 fourths of a number, 3 fourth, 3 fourth of a number means 3 by fourth of x, 3 by fourth of x. This is 4, four fifth of a number, this is 3 fourth of a number. This 4 fifth of a number is greater than 3 fourth of a number by, by a number 4. Means these two difference is 4. Means 4 by 5x minus 3 by 4 x equal to 4. Because this is greater than this by 4. So the difference is 4. 5 4. LCM 20, 5, 4 times 20, 4, 4 times 16, 16x, 4, 5 times 20, 5, 3 times 15, 15x equal to 4, 16x minus 15x equal to 1x, 
20 into 4 equal to 80. So, x equal to 80 is the answer. This solution is wrong children. So, consider this solution. Let us the number be x, then 4 fifth of a number be 4 by 5 x, 3 by fourth of a number be 3 by 4 x. This is greater than this by 4. So, their difference is 4, their LCM is 20, 5 4 times 20, 4 4 times 16, 16 x, 4 5 times 20, 5 3 times 15, 15 x equal to 4. 16 x minus 15 x equal to x, 24 times 80, x equal to 80. The required number is 80. Next run. Example 3. A man is 24 years older than his son. Means man age is 24 times greater than his son. After 2 years, man's age is or will be 3 times of that of his son. Find their present ages. So, let the because man age is 24 years older than his son. Man age, they are comparing with the son. This condition at present, this condition at present, after 2 years, another condition. So, at present, son's present age, let it be x. Because man age comparing with son. So, son age, let us assume it as x. Then, man's age will be x plus 24. Because 24 times greater than son. But after 2 years, son's age will become at present x years. After 2 years, his age will become x plus 2. Present man age x plus 24. After 2 years, man's age will become x plus 24 plus 2, which is x plus 26. But they have given after 2 years, man's age will be 3 times of son. So, man's age x plus 26 equal to 3 times of x plus 2 or x plus 26 equal to 3 into x, 3x plus 3 2 times 6, 3 2 times 6. If we apply transposition, here 1x is there, here 3x is there. Always all x terms to be taken one side. Which side we have greater x number, there we have to take smaller x value. So, let us take 1x that side, let us take 6 this side based on transposition. Left side we have 26, plus 6 comes this side means minus 6. Right side we have 3x, if x goes that side means minus x. 26 minus 6 means 20, 3x minus x means 2x. Now, let us write in reverse manner 2x equal to 20, x equal to 20 by 2, x equal to 10. So, what is x? Son's present age, 10 years. So, what is man's present age? x plus 24, 10 plus 24, 34. So, which son age is 10 years, man age is 34 years. Like that we can find. So, okay, children, still some more questions are there. Let us uh, discuss in our next video. So, thank you for watching our video, children. One minute. So, thank you for watching our video, children. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. So, you can visit our website children www.aimstudy.in for other information regarding previous classes and other coding classes, art and craft, English classes. For that, you can visit our website. Thank you children. Have a good day.